Today we take you on an exciting journey to the darkest corners of nature as we explore the top 10 most venomous animals in the world. Get ready to be amazed by the power and lethality of these creatures. At number 10 we have the common death adder. The common death adder, also known as Acanthophus, is a venomous snake native to Australia. It is renowned for its deadly bite and is considered one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. This snake is known for its ability to camouflage well in its surroundings, often making it difficult to spot for those unaware of what to look for. The common death adder belongs to the Elapidae family, which also includes other venomous snakes such as cobras and black mambas. They are usually found in areas with dense vegetation, such as forests, shrublands, and grasslands. They primarily prey on small mammals, lizards, and birds. What makes the common death adder so dangerous is its venom, which is neurotoxic. This means that the venom affects the nervous system and can lead to paralysis and respiratory difficulties in victims. Individuals bitten by this snake should seek immediate medical assistance as the effects of the venom can occur rapidly and can be fatal if left untreated. In ninth place, we have the graceful blue-ringed octopus. The blue-ringed octopus, scientifically known as Hapalochlena, is a remarkable but highly venomous species found in the waters around Australia and some surrounding areas such as New Guinea and Indonesia. Although small in size, these creatures are notorious for their extremely potent venom and colorful appearance. What makes the blue-ringed octopus so striking are the vivid blue and black rings that appear when the octopus feels threatened. These colors serve as a warning signal for potential predators and humans to stay away, as an encounter with this octopus can be deadly. Although the blue-ringed octopus is usually not aggressive, it can be dangerous when provoked or threatened. The venom this octopus secretes contains tetrodotoxin, one of the most potent neurotoxins known to nature. Even in small amounts, this venom can cause paralysis and lead to respiratory difficulties, which can ultimately be fatal if immediate medical assistance is not sought. In eighth place, we have the graceful yet dangerous Inland Taipan. Inland Taipan, scientifically known as Oxyuranus microlepidotus, is one of the most venomous snakes found in Australia. This species is known for its slender, light crossbands or bands that form a pattern resembling coral structures, hence the name coral snake. The Inland Taipan can be found in various habitats, including forests, grasslands, heathlands, and semi-arid inland areas of Australia. They primarily feed on small mammals, such as mice, and sometimes lizards and other reptiles. What makes this snake dangerous is the potent neurotoxic venom it produces. A bite from the inland taipan can result in severe symptoms, such as paralysis, respiratory difficulties, and in some cases, even death if immediate medical treatment is not sought. In seventh place, we have the Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider, scientifically known as Phonutria, is a spider found in the rainforests of Central and South America, including Brazil. This spider is known for its large size, fast movements, and highly potent venom. There are several species within the genus Phonutria, some of which are considered some of the most venomous spiders in the world. The most well-known species is the Brazilian wandering spider, which is infamous for its potentially dangerous bite to humans. The Brazilian wandering spider is a nocturnally active spider that preys on a variety of prey, including insects, small vertebrates, and even other spiders. They are highly fast and agile and can quickly move to capture their prey. What makes the Brazilian wandering spider so dangerous is the neurotoxic venom it produces. A bite from this spider can cause severe symptoms, including intense pain, swelling, nausea, muscle cramps, and in some cases, respiratory problems and paralysis. Individuals bitten by a Brazilian wandering spider should seek immediate medical assistance. In sixth place, we have the stonefish. The stonefish, scientifically known as Sinensia, is one of the most venomous fish in the world 
and is known for its masterful camouflage and treacherous attack. These fish are found in the coastal waters of the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, particularly in the waters around Australia and Southeast Asia. What makes the stonefish so dangerous is its excellent camouflage. It resembles a rock or piece of coral and can easily go unnoticed, even by experienced swimmers and divers. When an unfortunate victim accidentally steps on the stonefish, the fish can raise its venomous spines on its back and sting the victim. The venom of the stonefish is extremely potent and can cause severe symptoms, including severe pain, swelling, vomiting, paralysis, and in some cases, even death if immediate medical assistance is not sought. The venom contains neurotoxins that affect the nervous system and can quickly lead to life-threatening complications. In fifth place, we have the blue poison dart frog. The blue poison dart frog, also known as Dendrobates tinctorius azureus, is a striking and highly venomous species of frog native to the rainforests of South America, particularly in Suriname and Brazil. This frog is known for its bright blue color and is often considered one of the most beautiful frogs in the world. What makes the blue poison dart frog so unique is its vibrant color pattern, which serves as a warning signal for predators to stay away. This frog produces toxic compounds in its skin, which can be potentially deadly to predators and even humans if ingested or come into contact with open wounds. Despite their small size and cute appearance, blue poison dart frogs are highly venomous. They are among the most venomous animals in the world. The poison glands of these frogs contain compounds such as batrachotoxin, which affect the nervous system and can cause paralysis and cardiac arrest in victims. The blue poison dart frog is primarily an insectivore and feeds on a variety of small invertebrates, such as ants, beetles, and flies. They are usually active during dusk and night and spend their days in the shelter of leaves on the forest floor. In fourth place, we have the cone snail. Cone snails are a diverse group of sea snails belonging to the family Conidae. They are known for their conical shells and are found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide, from coastal areas to deep in the ocean. A notable feature of cone snails is their venomous sting, which they use to catch prey. This sting is connected to a venom gland and can inject a potent neurotoxic venom, causing the prey to become paralyzed or die. These snails are carnivores and feed on a variety of prey including other snails, small fish, worms, and even other cone snails. The venom of cone snails is not only used for hunting, but also has potential medical applications. Some compounds from the venom of cone snails have been investigated for their analgesic and therapeutic properties and are being researched as potential treatments for various conditions, including chronic pain. The shells of cone snails are often highly valued for their aesthetic value and are collected by shell collectors worldwide. Some species of cone snails have beautifully decorated shells with colorful patterns and are considered valuable collectibles. And now we come to our top three. At number three, we have the five-striped scorpion. The death stalker, scientifically known as Leurus quinquestriatus, is a species of scorpion found in parts of Central America particularly in countries like Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and Belize. These scorpions are known for their striking appearance and potentially dangerous sting. Like other scorpions, the death stalker belongs to the class Arachnida and has a characteristic body structure with four pairs of legs, a pair of pedipalps used for grasping prey, and a tail with a venomous sting. The sting at the end of the tail is connected to venom glands and is used to paralyze and kill prey. While the sting of the death stalker is usually not fatal to healthy adults, it can be very painful and may cause severe allergic reactions in some individuals. People bitten by a death stalker should seek immediate medical assistance, especially if they experience symptoms such as severe pain, swelling, nausea, vomiting, or breathing difficulties. And now, nearly at our number one, but first, 
At number two, we have the pufferfish. The pufferfish, also known as fugu in Japan, is a distinctive fish belonging to the Tetraodontidae family. These fish are found in the waters of tropical and subtropical oceans, primarily in the Pacific Ocean, but also in the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean. The pufferfish is known for its unique features and is both famous for its delicacy and its toxicity. What makes the pufferfish so remarkable is its inflatable body. When threatened, the pufferfish can pump water or air into its body, inflating it into a spherical shape that is difficult for predators to swallow. This makes it resemble a large ball, hence the name. Another notable feature of the pufferfish is the fact that the meat of some species is considered a delicacy, especially in Japan. Fugu is known for its unique taste and texture and is often served as sashimi or in soups. However, preparing pufferfish requires special skills due to the presence of the highly toxic neurotoxin tetrodotoxin in the intestines, liver, and other parts of the fish. This toxin can be fatal if not removed correctly. And now we have arrived at our absolute number one, the Australian box jellyfish. The Australian box jellyfish, scientifically known as Chironex fleckery, is one of the most notorious and dangerous jellyfish in the world. This jellyfish is known for its potentially deadly sting and is considered one of the most venomous marine animals in the oceans around Australia. The Australian box jellyfish is found in the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean, particularly along the northern coasts of Australia and in the waters around Papua New Guinea. They are especially abundant during the rainy season when they come closer to the coast. What makes the Australian box jellyfish so dangerous is the powerful venom released by the long tentacles protruding beneath their bell-shaped body. These tentacles are covered with thousands of small stinging cells, which inject venom upon contact, which can have a rapid and potentially deadly effect on humans. A sting from an Australian box jellyfish can cause intense pain, swelling, nausea, vomiting, breathing difficulties, heart failure, and in some cases, even death if immediate medical assistance is not sought. It is therefore crucial for people living in areas where Australian box jellyfish are found to be aware of the risks and to take precautions to avoid contact with these dangerous jellyfish. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great videos. Please let us know in the comments below what you thought of this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to share. We love hearing from you. Thank you for your time and interest. Until the next video.